Hey guys, Moan Pobert here, and in this video I want to share with you why I think that buying an existing business with existing cash flow is the best thing you can do to yourself if it's to start your journey as an entrepreneur or if it's to grow your existing business uh, by going out there and buying other complementary businesses or buy your competitors or just buy business in general. And it brings us back to just learning from the big guys, guys. I think one of the best things you can do to yourself, which we're going to talk about in this video, is learning from some of the most successful people in the world because one of the best things you can do to yourself to take a shortcut in your life and, and success is to figure out and find people who have some kind of results that you want and just do what they're doing to uh, as much as you can. Obviously, some people, you don't have direct access to them, but just the idea of having their strategy, their understanding, some of their thoughts and their beliefs can change your life as well. And I want us to look, just, just look at one of the most successful people in the world right now, most, one of the richest person in the world, which is Warren Buffett. And I just really like to come back to some of his lessons when he's investing in, in that's what he's doing, basically. Whatever this channel is all about, buying businesses, doing deals, that's pretty much what Warren Buffett is doing for years. And that's what made him billionaire. He just was patient more than anyone else. Like his growth, his wealth growth is like this. And he was able to find really, really good deals. But his criteria for good deals, he basically have two criteria. One of them is, um, so you get two rules, sorry. One of them is don't lose money. And the second rule is make sure that you remember rule number one, right? But when you look at his actual strategy, he's buying assets or businesses with existing cash flow that's coming in every single month. And that's what you should pay attention to as well. I mean, Unfortunately, most people, they either start a business or they're trying to grow a business one client at a time. And that's basically you telling to yourself that, you know what, I shouldn't listen to someone like Warren Buffett. And because when you start a business, there's no cash flow. When you try to grow one client at a time, there's no, um, I guess, sure way for cash flow. It's hustling, hustling your way until you potentially get one client. And that's why Warren Buffett, he don't, he's not running businesses day to day. He's not doing sales. He's buying existing assets, existing businesses with cash flow. He's not dealing with real estate or crypto or anything that aren't good established businesses with cash flow that is consistent, that's coming in every single month. That cash flow came in for many, many years in the past. And hopefully it will continue for the rest of his life. And that's why when Warren Buffett is investing in businesses, he's going to keep those investments for the rest of your life. That's his strategy. Personally, I just think it's more boring because I just like to come in, go out, make some money, go out. And at least personally, it just keeps me sharp, I think. I just like the idea of always be on the lookout to, to grow and do more exciting things. But there's nothing wrong with just, I have people who come to me and they're like, you know what? I want to build something sustainable, established, something that will bring in consistent cash flow every single month. And I want to grow it again and again and build some, some kind of a huge holding company. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just a matter of strategy and whatever gets you more excited and happy with your life, if that makes sense. The beauty with what Warren Buffett is doing, and, and look at Warren Buffett, he's not investing in startups, one of the smartest, richest people in the world. So why would you go out there and invest all of your time and all of your money to start something from scratch, to grow one client at a time? It just, you saying, I shouldn't listen to one of the smartest per people in the world, right? And what Warren Buffett is doing, he's buying something that's already producing cash flow again and again and again for years. And the beauty with that is that even the, if the market go down, goes down, it doesn't matter because the chances of this business to continue to produce in a consistent cash flow every month are much higher versus a startup who's just starting who have no track record, nothing and have nothing sustainable because Warren Buffett, he's investing in businesses that exist for many, many years that proven to show a consistent financial stability and maybe a small growth every year. And in my opinion, that's probably one of the best things you can do. And many people, they're against this, the boring businesses. I think you going out there and buying a boring business in the space of construction or engineering or manufacturing can be probably one of the smartest things that you can do because those businesses, maybe they're not as excited, exciting as the tech space, which is very, very br brutal and difficult space. 
it is more exciting i agree and the upside can be insane but the risks are much higher and there's much more competition versus the small the boring businesses like i said like construction engineering transportation like just those old school businesses that are so stable and many of them are probably going to stay here for many many years there there's some of the I, i'm telling you, you can find we had a call with a business it exists for like 30 years and it's growing slowly but surely every single year bringing just one more client here or there from word of mouth and imagine what can you do for such businesses if you then bring all the excitement of doing tech of bringing those companies online and that's why i think for many of you guys that's probably the best way to go to go and buy an existing established business with existing and and establish cash flow that's coming in every month and then if you have all those exciting ideas bring them to those businesses because most people when they get themselves into the space of business in general and becoming an entrepreneur they don't care about being the next facebook or the next amazon they care about having a consistent uh, income and they care about having a lifestyle and probably if that's what you care about buying those boring businesses is uh, at least based on my experience the best thing you can do because you can buy them at a very fair accounting valuation price. You can use those business assets as a leverage to buy those businesses. And I mean, if you have some money to put and you want to invest into those businesses and you want to bring some tech into those businesses, I mean, the, the sky is the limit. And there are so many of those businesses with baby boomers as owners. So, I mean, they're just looking for people like you who want to have a good business, who want to have a consistent income, who want to have a good lifestyle because they're just looking to retire or exit and they don't have sons or children to pass that business to. And when someone like you can come in and be the safe pair of hand, even if you don't know anything about the industry, but you're willing to learn, you're telling those business owners, you know what, I'll be here. There is a transition period in every acquisition where the business owner is going to stay and you tell them, you know what, I'll be here for you to learn 24 seven from you. I want to learn exactly how you built that business and I'll do everything in my power to, to, to sustain that brand, to keep that track record that you built over the years. And I'm telling you, those business owners will love someone like you with all that excitement who want to become a successful businessman as well. And then you get yourself into a successful business doing sometimes seven, eight figures a year in revenues. You can take to yourself a lot of money every year in terms of income or dividends. You can then go and do more deals and buy better competitors. I mean, the upside is just amazing. So it brings us back to remember the rules and following those successful people out there like Warren Buffett. What they're doing, they're investing in something in assets that bring in consistent cash flow every month. They're not investing in startups. He's not investing in startups who have so much risk of failure. Is it possible to make money as a startup? Yes, it is. But your chances of failures are just so much higher. Um, so I hope that um, give you some value, guys. Uh, the idea of going out there and buy something existing that's producing existing sustainable cash flow. And yeah, if you enjoyed it, let me know in the comments below. Subscribe to all of my social channels. That really, really helps me. And share it with other people you think that will get some value from this video. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed it. See, we're going to put some links to free training below this video. So check it out if you want to get more details, understanding of how to buy such businesses and the process A to Z. So see somewhere in the links below. And I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.